Things are changing in this world, and we need the Holy Spirit to enable us to see clearly. There are two spirits in operation in this world, the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. 1 John chapter 4, verse 6 says, We are from God. Whoever knows God listens to us. Whoever is not from God does not listen to us. By this, we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. So we absolutely need to pray for discernment. And perhaps if I put it this way, my message will really seep into your heart. The devil has been deceiving people for thousands of years, meaning that he has experience. He has the know-how. He has been working to deceive the children of God since Adam and Eve. I say this not to praise him in any way, but instead, I'm saying this so that you might be realistic and recognize that if you try and stand on your own, you will fall. If you try and fight the devil's deception on your own, you will fail. We need Jesus. We need to be filled with his word. And we most definitely need an outpouring of the Holy Spirit so that we can have this discernment that I'm talking about. Saints, we need spiritual discernment. As a people who are called to be separate, from the evil of this world. We need to always have Jesus Christ at the center of our hearts. We need him at the center of our minds and forever on our lips. Walk with discernment, saints. There's no doubt that we live in a time in which it's very difficult to know whether what we face in day-to-day circumstances is just life happening or if it's something beyond this world that we need to address as spiritual warfare. Without the discernment of God working in our lives, we have absolutely no hope of recognizing the difference between just life and the spiritual attack of the enemy of our soul. The Bible teaches us that the devil comes to steal, to kill, to destroy, but Jesus came to give us an abundant life. The Word also tells us to be sober-minded, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. But James 4, 7 said, Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. In every area of our lives that the enemy may try and attack us spiritually, God has made a way of escape. But it does take discernment to know the difference between just life and spiritual battles. The carnal man has no hope of knowing the difference, but the person who walks with God will be given what he needs to both see the battle and win the battle because he is victorious in Jesus Christ. We cannot receive the things of God without spiritual discernment, and we cannot have spiritual discernment if we are living as a natural man giving into the desires of our carnal flesh. The writers of Hebrews in chapter 5, verse 14, eloquently stated, But solid food belongs to those who are of full age. That is those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. In other words, it takes a lot of practice to become mature, but it takes maturity to be able to discern good from evil. There are many other questions that can be addressed to help us understand whether we are living in a carnal state or a spiritual one. Do we love God and people more than we love ourselves? Do we seek pleasure more than we seek God? Are we content with where we are and with what we have, or do we always want more? Are we always willing to forgive other people when they do things that hurt us? Do we spend time with God in prayer for others, even those we believe to be our enemies? 
The truth is that we must first make sure we are living a life of spiritual maturity, denying our carnal nature. In his letter to the Philippians, the Apostle Paul wrote in Philippians chapter 2, verse 3 to 4, Do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility count others more significant than yourselves. Let each of you look not only to his own interests, but also to the interests of others. Carnally minded people seem to always be more troubled about the issues they have rather than the problems or circumstances of other people. Spiritually minded people understand that when they help the people around them through their difficulties, God will always make a way to get through the complications that arise in their own personal lives. In order to protect your spirit, in order to protect your salvation and even your peace of mind, you and I need the spirit of discernment. We need guidance from the Holy Spirit on how to navigate this life while protecting our faith, our joy, our mind state even. Everyone you come across is not good for you. They may smile at you, but not everyone has your best interests at heart. There are some people who come to only take your peace. There are other people who are sent by the devil so that they can drain you of your joy and leave you tired and discouraged. Some are sent to distract you. So we need the guidance of the Holy Spirit when it comes to the people we should allow in our lives. We need discernment when it comes to those we allow close to us, even when it comes to the types of atmosphere we enter. Spiritual discernment is something provided by the Spirit of God to lead and guide you to His will. It is an intentional process by God that allows us to filter the deception of the devil and the truth of God. 1 John 4 Verse 1, Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. This is discernment. With the guidance of the Holy Spirit, you can tell who is really speaking from God's Word and who is speaking from a place of doctrine mixed with deception. And I believe, saints, that we need the Holy Spirit to speak and tug at our hearts. My prayer is that the Holy Spirit would open my eyes to every hidden stronghold in my life and within my family. May He shine a light on every corner that the enemy is hiding with the aim to take me down. 